The 10 stages of the furry fandom. Number 1. You are born. Number 2. You discover the Lion King and you love everything about it. Number 3. You try to the best of your abilities to draw the Lion King fan art. There's just one small problem. You don't know how to draw. But you don't care. It's the effort that counts, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. So you draw the Lion King everywhere and your friend starts getting concerned. Number 4. As you suggest to your friends that you all should go watch the Lion King again, they say no. You have seen it literally a hundred times, you don't need to see it again. Seriously, stop. Please, stop. Of course, you do the only reasonable thing and you dump them as your friends. Number 5. You discover a community online where people agree with you. The Lion King is the greatest movie ever! This is awesome! It seems like a lot of the people who agree with you have their very own Lion King characters, except that they call them personas and not alternative Lion King characters. Some of them even dress up in super cute animal costumes, that's so awesome. Number 6. You have made your own persona and you have officially joined the fandom. You think everything is wonderful, people are so friendly and awesome and happy and you can't understand how this world has been there the whole time without your knowledge. You join all the furry websites and you focus your entire life around cute animal people. You also somehow find 3000 bucks lying around and you figure the perfectly reasonable thing to do with it is to spend it on a giant animal costume. You take it with you to awesome conventions where people are awesome and life is awesome and everything is so nice. 7. You slowly realize that 90% of the fandom are horny fuckers are just as many assholes there as in any other community. You don't actually go along with 99% of the people you talk to. Everything is shit, you can't connect with anyone and you're gonna die alone, your family hates you. 8. What's the point? Why are you in this fandom? Why? It's just a bunch of cartoony animals. This is so freaking childish. Just why? Nine. Okay, the fandom is actually that bad. You might have been a bit over dramatic. The fandom is sort of cool and dandy, and it still gives you a lot of inspiration. Many people aren't as bad as you first thought they were, and some of them are really cool actually. Number ten. You have reached total acceptance and entered furry nirvana. You are one with the fursona spirits, and the fursona spirits are with you. Your life is wholesome again, and you have found a lovely mate to share your animal adventure with. Your spirit animal shows itself in front of you as a glowing beacon of light, kissing you both goodnight every time before you fall asleep. You have found peace. 11. You, you stop, stop using, using drugs, drugs and you realize that the fandom ain't that bad in real life either.